Need courage, all sorts of courage uh, in football. And I thought Port Adelaide showed great courage at selection on the weekend. Dropped three big names. I mean, really big names. And brought in a couple of big names and uh, an inexperienced player. One of them was Charlie Dixon Bond. Mm, Charlie, he's, he's an impressive player. I think that you get the, the obviously big man presence with yeah. Charlie, but you, you get an incredible sort of pack mark and pack splitter, but then you get the chasers, you get the smothers, he finishes off the goals, and you can just tell from watching the game how much the, the whole team and the, the club loves him. And um, it, You've got a bit of man love for big uh, <laughs> Yeah, for big he's not bad. He looks, um, he's got a little bit of look in his eye too that he can um, you know, really wrestle with he's someone. He's the forward and, that the yeah, dogs are after. He's a, he's a bit of a beast, um, but you know, we've got to come up against him this week, so we're going to have to nullify the beast a little bit. But, but um, yeah, impressive. But yeah, like you said, there's no doubt you walk taller when you've got blokes like mm. Charlie Dixon playing in your side. Everyone's kind of walking like Gaz was today with his chest poked out a bit. But um, yeah. understandably, like, he's so important to the way that they play and, you know, he, he was a big influence and in why they got the result in the end. Yeah, well, and the week before they had opportunity, the young Kane Farrell was their inside yeah. 50 target. That's what they're screaming out for. 100% with the bond. I think he's um, this huge factor for them mm. and their footy's been really good, Port, Port Adelaide, for the last four or five weeks. You know, we use the Premiership yep. profile yep. a lot here, and they tick a lot of those boxes. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that Westhoff will get back into that side, and probably Paddy Ryder, and they only get back in with some form. So, yeah, they are one to watch mm. big time. You like the way they bring the ball inside forward 50? Yeah, absolutely. I think the way that, you know, against Geelong, who are a quality defensive unit, I think the way that they're able to move the ball, I think any time you're looking forward and you've got Geelong with 1v1s, normally they have an amazing ability to get off and outnumber and intercept the ball. And on the weekend, to Port's credit, the way that they moved the ball, every time they looked up, they had 1v1s. And you're kind of licking your lips when you've got that, um, you know, in transition, Geelong can normally get their wingers back, whether it's a Duncan or a Guthrie or something like that. But on the weekend, there was 1v1s everywhere. They were getting it in, getting it in deep, getting great contests. And uh, it was a real avenue to scoring goals. A great pickup. I mean... Yeah, it's like, good vision, isn't not it? Not zonable. Like, if that's you who likes to get off and, and provide some help, it's that distance where you're looking at it and going, I can't really get there. And if you do, yep. as that last one shows, if you misjudge it, then you don't. And everyone's capable of doing that. We talk about that all the time. Forwards who are proactive enough to engage their defender yep. and keep them honest. So yeah. that's a great pickup. And uh, Ruzi's in trouble. Oh, he definitely. <laughs>